civil AccuDraw direction direction method. On the civil AccuDraw toolbar, it's this one right here, it's called direction direction. This one is similar to the distance distance method, but for the direction direction, you'll use a direction off your first location, and then you'll use a direction off your second location. So to use this tool, I'm going to come up to my Open Roads Modeling ribbon, make sure I'm on my Geometry tab, and I'm just going to select a point, and my land corner is still set to my default, so I'm going to use that one. So now to use this tool, I'm going to go out on my drawing. I'm going to hit O on my keyboard, so I can select my first reference point. I'm going to snap to the end point of this line right here. Now if I type a direction in that top direction area, I'll just use N for north, 65 degrees, and I'll use east for direction, and hit enter to lock that one in. So now you can see when I move my mouse, I'm kind of locked into that direction. Now if I want to select a direction off of this end point over here, I'm going to have to hit the O on my keyboard again select a different reference point. I'm going to snap to the end of this line. Now when I drag my mouse out, you'll see I'm still highlighted in that top direction, so I'm going to have to tab down to the next direction. And now for this direction, maybe I want it to be north 58 degrees and 30 minutes, so I'll use a colon to separate out my degrees and minutes. So it's in 58 colon 30 and this time we're going west, so I'll type in W, hit enter to lock that in. Now when I move my mouse, you can see that point is locked in to those directions. If that's what I want, I'll just left click to accept it, and right click to reset my tool. And you could also use this with the line tool or another tool. But for this demonstration, we just used the place point tool and placed a cell out there.